Well, the weather's taken a bit of a turn, standard English summer, but that's not too much of a problem because the first thing we're going to do this episode is work on the back of the car and build our rear crash member. Now, this is going to go from one edge of the car all the way across to the back, and it's a pretty simple design because we're going to have a very flat back on this. So we're just making up some box section, drilling some holes to fit on the back of here, and fortunately, most of that can happen in the garage. So this is what we're going to make the rear bumper out of. This is 60 by 30 mil box, and we've used quite a bit of this on the car. It's nice and strong, and it's not too overkill for what we need. We could go with something much deeper to give us the depth we need on the back of the car, but that would be far too heavy. So instead, we're going to use some 60 by 40 mil box. Thanks to Barksham Metals for giving us this out of their scrap bin. It's very, very convenient and couldn't have been more perfectly timed. So I'm going to cut this into two smaller pieces and weld it onto the bumper bar itself. Then I'm going to drill through all of this, and this will sandwich onto the studs we've got on the back of the car and bring the outside edge much closer up to the end of the exhaust tips on the back box. We can tweak those in a little bit further if we need to, but for now, let's work on getting this in, bolted on, and see where we get to. What's the core of the bumper done? This is all welded up now, the extensions are in, and it fits quite nicely onto the back of the car. So now we need to work on the extensions that are actually going to hold the archwork that goes around the rear wheels. Now I don't want them to be welded onto the bumper bar, because this needs to be able to come off so that we can get the engine out easily. So it's going to have to be welded onto this part of the car and just bolt onto the back of the bumper for stability, the same way we did with the front. Now last night while it was raining, I welded up these little extensions. These are cut so they'll go onto the edge of the chassis at the back here, and they've got an M6 nut welded into some half inch box on the end, and that'll be bolted through onto the back of the bumper. So these will fit on here, and they'll give us a position that we can weld the arch onto coming round. But this needs to be extended all the way down to the bottom of where we expect the car to be and where the floor is going to go. So we're going to have to pop the wheel off, jack the car up, and put something on that comes down the edge of the car to work out exactly where we need. Because this will be a lot easier to weld on before we attach this piece onto the back of the car. I've also clamped this piece of inch box onto the floor all the way from the front of the car coming right the way back so we can get a good measure from the underside of this extension down to where the bottom of the floor sits. And it's about 280 mil all the way down. I'm not sure how I'm going to shape it or whether I'm going to have this going all the way down, but I do need to know this measurement for where the back of the wheel arch is going to be. So now we've got this, we can take the piece of steel back off, put the wheel back on and start measuring up for the distance from the front of here to the back of the wheel arch. Now we've got all the parts cut, we can weld them onto our extension and finish up building the bodywork support for the back end of the car. There's one more bit we need to add, which is going to be a piece of inch tube to go at a slight angle down the back of the car in line with the back of the bumper. But we'll get this built, bolt this back onto the car, and then see exactly where we need that to go between the two points to continue on the floor. Now we've got all these welded in, we can join up these two legs using a piece of inch tubing to match the sides of the car we already have. I'm going to notch out these two sections so we can add this in. This will fit up to the bottom, we know that this is the right length to the bottom of the floor so we can level it up with that. And then this will just be scalloped out so that this fits down and hangs off the bottom of this leg. Now having this little rake at the back will reduce the size of the car overall so it'll look a little bit lighter, a little bit smaller from the back end. And it'll mean if we're going up a ramp or a driveway in a garage or anything like that, we're not just going to rip the back of the car off when we clip the tarmac. The next piece we need to add goes across the inside edge of the inner arch, and I'm just using some inch box that I've cut down into an L-bracket again. This would be plenty strong enough and nice and light, so we're not compromising anything there. And then we're just going to weld this in probably this way round, so that it matches up with the bottom edge where this attaches, and the bottom edge where this comes out. That way we don't have any awkward angles or awkward steps, and we can weld this nice and simply inside. 
When we were doing the roll hoop, a couple of people asked us about how to do tube notching when you don't have a proper tube notcher, which we don't. I just used a regular grinding disc on a grinder and very slowly notched it out to make it the right shape. So I'm just going to go through the process on this tube with this piece which is going to come across from the bottom of the car and match up. Now this is going to be extra difficult because it's also on an angle, it's not just square up to the side. Line the box section up against the tube you want to notch around and make a rough outline with a pen. Take away all of this rough material with a slitting disc, it will make life a lot easier later. Line it back up against the tube and see where you need to take away any additional material. Looking end on to the tube now you can get a much better idea of where the outline is that you need to take away to make a full through join. Grind the material away and keep fitting up against the tube until you get a much better fit. This may take a lot of time and iteration, but a good join is worthwhile. Well that's about as much as I can weld up off the car because getting from this corner onto the underside of the chassis at the back is not something I really want to do with guesswork off the car. I'm going to make something that fits exactly where I need it to be. So the only thing that comes now is to weld this piece onto the main chassis. So I'm just going to tack this in over here and then we'll start looking at the bottom. Now we've got this welded in pretty good, I'm going to attach this piece onto the back end of the chassis to join onto this lower stabiliser. Now I've shaped this so it'll come off the very bottom of the anti-roll bar mount and come across to join this. And we've clamped this in so we get it at exactly the right level with the rest of the floor. So now we've got the wheel back on, the car on the ground, we can start working on this outside lip of the wheel arch. It's going to come all the way from down here on the floor, right the way around, and join onto this point here. And the reason we're going to do that is to mount all of our bodywork structure too. This isn't necessarily going to be the inside edge of the wheel arch. We can come a bit further down if we want, or we can just leave it where it is. It gives us a good couple inches travel on the wheel, and it gives us a nice platform to work off to build whatever bodywork we want and an indication of the inside size of the wheel well. So we're going to start off with this template piece that I made. Now this is just some two inch box section with some rods welded up between and I've bent them in the ring roller just to fit nicely around. So with these in it'll give us a nice two inch radius we can work off all the way around. And this is just some 10 mil tube which bends quite nicely and will fit around onto there from the two points we need. One on this end, round onto that side, and this makes it nice and replicable over to the other side when we need to do exactly the same thing again. Well we've only got one more bit to do and now the sun's chosen to come out which is a bit annoying, it could have done that a couple of days ago but we can still go ahead and get this fitted. Now we can't weld this on at both ends because the piece it attaches to here is where the radiator mounts off and that whole frame comes away from the car. So this is going to be bolted in and I've just welded on this little flange which will go into the back of the headlight mounting screw. So we've got one screw that does all of those fixings, we can just put this one on here. That will weld on to the floor at that end, I'll tack that in and as you can see I've used the same spaces here to make sure the arc works all the way around. I'll get the other side done as well and then that's us done. Thanks very much for watching. I'm really pleased with how this has come together now. The arches are looking really good. I've been looking forward to getting these on for ages. I actually bought material for this nearly six months ago now. It's been that long. And they look really, really good. I'm happy with how they're placed. I'm not sure if we're going to just run with completely flat sides at the moment or whether or not we're going to have some sort of bulge on the side like a, a bolt-on kit or something like that for the wheels, but we'll get to that later. For now, I'm really pleased with what it looks like and how far it's come along. 
If you like it too, subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let us know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to support us by buying merch, you can have a look at shop.pedalbox.show for t-shirts, hats, stickers, and all sorts of other things. And if you want to support us directly, you can check out patreon.com slash pedalboxshow.